family welcome to the channel i hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day in today's video guys we'll be reacting to a video uh, of uh, sheikh imran hussein this video was uh, suggested by uh cardi termakase thank you very much shukran for taking the time to send me a recommendation and suggestion the video is uh by uh Paula Pekir and the link is in the description in case you guys wanted to check it out so we'll get started inshallah with the video in just a couple of uh, seconds and at the end of the video I'll share with you guys my observation and reaction so if you want to see that then please stay until uh, the end with us and now let's get started finally we said that one of the prophecies of Prophet Muhammad <laughs> is that in the end time the earth will vomit from its liver columns of gold and silver the likelihood is that this will take place in Indonesia. Yeah. Because of the volcanoes of Indonesia, they call a ring of fire. Ring of fire. And these volcanoes are all already producing gold in Java. Okay? Oh wow. When the US dollar collapses, the balloon bursts, uh, if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll find three lectures on money, just delivered in uh, Sitapak. The first was, what is money in the Quran and Sunnah? The second was, what is money in the world today? And the third is entitled, uh, Beyond the Petrodollar, an uh -huh. Islamic response to the bogus monetary system. Okay? And in that lecture, we said, Israel cannot claim to be a Khilafah state unless Israel is using gold and silver as money. When that day comes that Israel brings back gold and silver as money, I hope I'm not alive. May Allah take me away from the world because the shame and the disgrace will be too great for me, for my heart. My heart will burst. That these people have to bring back dinar and dirham. What? While our people were eating biryani and going home to sleep, the shame and the disgrace would be too great. So I ask in that lecture that all those who hear my lecture, go and ask your scholars of Islam, wherever you can meet them. Even if you can't meet them in person, you can send an email to them and ask them politely so. We don't see this money in the Quran and Sunnah, no. The money we are now using, is it halal or is it haram? And we don't want a private answer. We want an answer that we can publish. Okay? So you, could, you put some pressure on them. If they say we don't know, you can ask them, well, how long will you take? We want an answer. You can't remain silent forever. No. Okay? In the meantime, if it is possible to have money which is redeemable in gold like Ahmad Sukarno attempted in Indonesia that's why they overthrew him that the Indonesian rupiah would have been redeemable in gold that you could go take it to some office and collect your gold collect your gold redeemable in gold then the Indonesian rupiah would have been halal it's redeem it's like a check you can cash the check okay it's redeemable in gold Perhaps, if that can be done, then that would be a solution to the problem. However, they cannot allow anyone to succeed. Because if one country were to succeed, it will bring down the whole monetary system. So they will wage war to prevent you. That's why they attack Libya. They wage war to ensure that you do not establish a monetary system in which your money is redeemable in gold and silver. Okay? Uh, we said that an alternative could also be where you establish markets in which you use actual gold and silver for buying and selling. We just had Eid al-Adha, uh, Hari Raya Haji. And in Hari Raya Haji or Eid al-Adha, you have to buy animals to sacrifice. 
So I don't know what you use, whether you use ringgit or rupiah or whatever. I use dinar and dirham. <laughs> yes. I bought my animal with dinar and dirham. Yeah, and then we had the sacrifice. Uh, if we could encourage this, this is a micro response. Uh, before the war takes place, okay, make sure you have at least 100 dirhams at home. It may be two dirhams a day for food, two dirhams a day, depending on the size of your family. So at least for 50 days you have food. Hmm? Make sure you have at least 100 dirhams at home. And if you can have some dinars as well, alhamdulillah, that's even better. Okay? This is another response that you have. Finally, we said that one of the prophecies of Prophet Muhammad <laughs> is that in the end time, the earth will vomit from its liver columns of gold and silver. The likelihood is that this will take place in Indonesia. Yeah, because of the volcanoes of Indonesia, they call a ring of fire. And these volcanoes are all already producing gold in Java, okay? Ah. Uh, when that gold comes into the world, that gold can then be used to fight the monetary system. Yeah. Oh, so from what the Sheikh is mentioning is basically the gold will be coming out of uh, Indonesia because of the amount of uh, volcanoes that are there. And I guess he's mentioning it's already taking place in Java, which is interesting. I like Sheikh Amran Hussain because his thoughts are like a little bit um, unique. You know, there's not a lot of people that, that uh, bring up the things that he talks about. Like, for example, saying that, you know, the gold could be coming out of uh, Indonesia and even has some, some other points too which is kind of cool because a lot of people don't uh, talk about these kind of things or don't even bring it up so when you when you listen to him it's kind of like oh, okay yeah maybe that could be the case or what not right so it's pretty interesting uh, so thank you very much guys for suggesting the video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you like me to react to another video you can put your suggestions in the comment section below as always terima kasih thank you very much shukran and mercy guys for all your love and support I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family inshallah I'll see you guys in the next video okay